الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته What's happening people? This is your boy Anwar Ali aka Happy Anwar The question today is How do you boost your Iman? Like how do you get connected to Allah? How do you From where you are right now How do you go up a notch? Like how do you get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Okay all right, let's tackle this question, inshallah ta'ala. And I'll try and make this video short, inshallah. I know y'all are busy this Sunday. I don't know, what time is it now? It's almost like 5 p.m. here somewhere in the world, wherever we are, subhanallah. I'm sure you guys are probably watching your uh, your soap opera from your uh, native uh, lands. <laughs> <coughs> okay, bismillah. Uh, two simple things, inshallah ta'ala. Two simple things. First one is do all your obligatory duties okay what's that firstly <laughs> this one is a given pray your salah pray all your salah on time if Dhuhr is at one pray at one don't pray at 1 15 don't pray at 1 30 don't pray you know like you know four o'clock some people do that subhanallah if isha is at seven pray isha at seven don't pray at 7 30 don't pay pray at nine o'clock don't pray it just before you go to sleep and i know i know there are some Hadiths, uh, in particular to her, to Isha, where um, <clears throat> you can sort of delay it, uh, you know, and sort of things. But uh, look, right now I'm just talking about praying your salah on time. Okay, that's super important, Subhanallah, and doing all the things that make Allah Subhanahu wa Taala happy. Okay. Second thing is you need to stop. Sinning, you know who you are, man. All those haram things you do, either in front of people or in private, they need to stop. Look, it's simple arithmetic, all right? One plus one is two. Two minus one is one. You do good, you step, you take one step forward. You do bad, you take a step back, subhanAllah. So, yani, if you think, yani, you know, some people, they're like, ah, oh, you know, I'm a good person, I got a good heart, you know, I'm sure Allah can take that into account. You know, Mother Teresa, you guys know Mother Teresa? She's like a nun and she did lots of good, subhanAllah. And she, you know, looked after people and whatever. Guess what? She is a kafir, okay? She's a non-Muslim. Allah knows best, yeah, I mean, you know, it's far-fetched that she probably took a shahada before she died. How would she, like, you know, she works for the Vatican. But she did good, but she didn't pray salah. She's not a Muslim, subhanAllah. So the key here is that you need to do what makes Allah happy. And if you're sinning, okay, all you're doing is taking steps back. So you need to, you know, you know what your sin is, you need to stop it. If you're really concerned about your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you're really concerned about, you know, you being sort of raised up a level, subhanAllah, going from a Muslim to a mu'min, and inshallah from a mu'min to a muhsin, Allahu Akbar, may Allah make us from those people. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Okay. So yeah. Uh, pray your salah. Do all the things that make Allah SWT happy. And give up the haram things, man. That's the only way you're going you're gonna, to uh, sort of level up. I'm being super serious, subhanAllah. Okay. So let me give you little, little tips, inshallah. What's this? We're coming up to three and a half minutes on this video. But little tips, inshallah, ta'ala, how, how to get more good deeds. Okay. So... You know, assuming that you're praying your salah, okay, on time, inshallah ta'ala, you can follow the sunnah. Oh my God, there are so many beautiful, easy sunnahs that you can follow of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Everything from waking up through your day and until you go to sleep. All right. Uh, simple things. All right. You get up, okay. It's a sunnah to just literally with your hands to wipe your face. Literally, just whatever, you know. Wipe your face, subhanAllah, yani, whatever, some of us might have eye bogeys, you know what I mean? You gotta clean that stuff out. And then you say the dua, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi ahyana ba'di ma amatana wa ilayhi nushur. Okay, Google that, the dua of waking up, inshallah. You get up, you go make wudu. Okay, inshallah, you get up before fajr, obviously. If you can pray to hajjud, that's awesome. And then you uh, make your wudu. Okay, before you enter the toilet, before you enter that toilet, Okay, you need to say the dua of entering the toilet. That's good, some good deeds there, right? You enter with your left foot. Subhanallah, that's the sunnah. You enter with your left foot, you go in, and you, uh, you subhanallah, make your wudu, inshallah. 
And when you finish your wudu, you leave the toilet with your right foot, sunnah, and you get good deeds for that. It's so simple. And the thing is, sometimes we forget, but when you keep doing it, your body becomes, like, it becomes automatic, like second nature. And without even realizing it, you're saying the dua, you enter left foot, you do what you gotta do, you come out, you know, right foot, say the dua, gufranaka, you know, and you come out, alhamdulillah. Next one, easy. When you put on your clothes, all right, start with the right limb and then finish with your left. And when you take off your clothes or whatever your, you know, your garments, your shoes or whatever, take off the left and finish with your right. Let me give you an example. Simple. Shoes, right? You put on your shoes, put on the right one first. Always say Bismillah. Always say Bismillah before you do anything, okay? And then you take off, sorry, and then you put on your right shoe. And then you come home or whatever you need to take off your shoes, you take off the left one and then you take off the right. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. Look at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Simple little things. And same thing with your jacket. You put your jacket on, it's getting cold now here in the UK. I don't know where, wherever you guys in the world are. You get your jacket, you put the right limb on, you put the right arm in first and then the left. Don't forget, say Bismillah. Bismillah for everything. When you enter, say you're walking into a room. You're going from the living room, you're going into the bedroom. Bismillah. You know? Bismillah. You're about to pour some milk into the tea. Bismillah. You're about to, I don't know, cut something up for cooking. Bismillah. You know, you pick up some utensils. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Yani, mention the name of Allah. You keep doing it. You keep keeping your your mouth uh, moist. <laughs> Voice. Is that the word? I don't know, man. I feel so old-fashioned. But you keep your, your mouth busy with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It becomes second nature. You know what I mean? Like you just, you just, it becomes automatic. Subhanallah. It comes, it becomes almost, almost annoying to some people. They're always like, man, you're always saying subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. It sounds stupid, right? But some people will pick on it, pick, pick up on it. And they'll be like, well, like, when did you become so... Like, so pious, you know, <laughs> that's what some people say. But you're not, you're just, you're just being a normal Muslim, right? What else can I give you? Okay, Sadaqa Jariya. Sadaqa Jariya. Continuous charity. So, what kind of thing, what kind of good deeds can you do that will be like a continuous thing, subhanAllah. Okay, so, as our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, charity begins at home, Okay. So what you can do, the food you buy, like when you buy food and your family eats from it, that's sadaqa jariya, that is continuous, char that's charity that keeps giving to you, that keeps giving, that, that's a good deed that keeps giving back to you, right? You go buy toilet paper, right? <laughs> or hand wash or, or a bar of soap for the sake of Allah, all my days, oh my days, I forgot to mention this from the beginning. Everything has to be with the intention for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is super important. Super duper important. Inna al-amal bin-niyat. So all intention, astaghfirullah, uh, all actions are by intention. So make your intention for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also hide your good deeds, bidnillah. Don't be showing them off to everyone. Don't be like, haha, I got this toilet roll. Check it out, everybody. This toilet roll is for the sake of Allah. And then doosh, put it on the in the toilet. You know, everyone's like, yeah, mashallah, Fatima. Mashallah. <laughs> no, keep your... Toilet good deeds, private, yeah? The toilet roll good deeds, stuff with Lazim. So toilet rolls, um, things that people can benefit from, but keep it private. I remember this one guy in the masjid, he would buy toilet, he would buy toilet paper, right? Toilet rolls, and he would go to his local masjid. Nobody would see him do this, right? And he would go to every single toilet booth and leave a toilet roll, leave a toilet roll. And then he will leave like, you know those little, those soap dispensers where you can, squash it and you know soap comes out he would leave one at every single basin uh wash wash basin and then he would um you know put a towel or something and every single person who uses that he gets a good deed for it allahu akbar that's mad people are thinking like when they're thinking of like continuous good deeds they think of like some epic stuff like i'm gonna build a well in some war stricken country i'm gonna plant a tree and water it every day for 20 years and then it's gonna bear fruit and fruit's gonna give me good oh, man come on man come back down to earth okay there's little simple things 
one of the most amazing charities is like when you're walking down the street and then you know cause now it's quite windy in the uk it will blow something dangerous in the way in the pathway right move it out of the way subhanallah and then you've just that's because you've cleared the way this dangerous item that could trip someone up everyone's on their phones looking down on their phones subhanallah and they might you know trip up on it every single person that you've just saved from tripping up from that you get the good deed for it allahu akbar you know what <laughs> seriously i uh, I should uh, I should charge for my services. <laughs> Stuff Allah, I'm joking. Stuff Allah, but I feel excited because I really wanna I really want you guys to feel confident that first of all Allah is merciful, okay, and secondly that there is so many ways that you can attain His mercy. There's so many ways you can level up, okay. Like don't feel like congested. Don't feel sort of uh, that you sort of you're shackled down. You're thinking, ah oh, man. Like, you know, the, there's a, it's, it's really hard to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's so many ways you can get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallah al um, Just think about it. Be creative. I just gave you a couple. SubhanAllah. Don't forget your obligatory. It, all these things I've just told you. All these fancy creative ideas for these continuous charities. <laughs> Bismillah. These continu continuous charities are completely useless if you're not performing your obligatory um uh, obligatory things that you meant to do for the sake of Allah SWT, like your salah, obviously. But get that on lock and give up haram. Wallahi, your life will change. Your heart will change. Your connection with Allah SWT will change. Oh, my days. It's almost 12 minutes on this video, but I'm going to wrap this up, inshallah. But yeah, those two things are very important. Give it up for the sake of Allah SWT. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a struggle. You're going to, you know, you're going to. Uh, it's like it's gonna be like a, a battle within yourself to just give it up, whether it's smoking or not, uh, or lowering your gaze, or you know, some people might be in a haram relationship to just cut it off and say, "Listen, Allah is more important, man. My love for Allah is more more important than my love for you." Subhanallah. Ya Allah, khalas. Let me wrap this up. Inshallah Taala. Barakallah fikum. If I said anything wrong, please forgive me. Inshallah Taala. Uh, if I said anything by mistake, please correct me in the, in the comments because I'm not perfect. I'm not a sheikh, imam, you know what I mean? I, I'm not a mujahid on a white horse with wings, you know, with a shiny little suit, you know, <laughs> stuff for love. But I'm just your brother in Islam, just whatever I learn, I want to share with you guys. And I, I pray that Allah SWT allows all to enter Jannah and uh, for us to be neighbors and for us to just, you know, kick it and have fun in Jannah bidnillah because this dunya is just not fun at all. Barakallah fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.